So what is decentralized heat recovery? Well, it looks just like this. So we have a lot of these machines around the rooms. So in every single room, every single habitable space, kitchens, bathrooms, and how they work is they, they go inside the wall. So they sit inside the fabric of your building. And what they do, they extract air for 60 seconds, warm in this ceramic plate up, and then they push the air back into the building for 60 seconds, taking the heat from this ceramic plate to go back in the building meaning we can get anywhere from 80 to 90% efficiency with these machines with filtered air going into the building. So we have one in every single room. So the air is being taken out. We've got a ceramic plate there. And then the air comes back in after 60 seconds, goes through the ceramic plate, getting warmed up. So each room will do a similar thing. So in, intake and extract. But what we can do with these machines now is have CO2 sensors in them. So if this machine picks up that there's a, there's a big party going on and well, we need some more fresh air. What it can say is actually, I need to have more air coming in. So it can be on constantly on. But what it does is talk to its friend over here and say, right, well, I'm going to extract then, because as much as coming in, we need to take out. So we're pushing the air from this side, getting more fresh air. Yes, it's not going to be as efficient because we're, we're effectively bringing more cold air in. But if we've got this many people, we've got the heat coming off of these people that should counteract that, that effect.